my glasses. Okay, we're officially Lord uh, in our Laura cosplay, at least halfway. I am beyond myself right now. I just had somebody coming this morning. <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna do a whole story time and get ready with you guys because um, I'm gonna film tonight right now. Um, I gotta run out the door in a minute, so I'm gonna bring you with me. But I had a buyer coming for these couches this morning and they just completely blew me off. I'll explain everything. I hate Facebook Marketplace with a passion. So I'm currently waiting for orders. I needed to be busy today. I don't want to keep doing these days where it's really slow. I'm going to just start doing my makeup and talk, talking to you guys about today. Today is one of those days where you're like, can we just, uh, oh my God, as I literally eat my primer. I'm like, can I just please go back to bed and start this over? I've been trying to sell my old couch set. It's a love seat and a couch now for probably like two months and we kind of had we saw a great deal on a new couch and so we jumped on it thinking that this couch set would not sit as long as it has it's a couple years old but it's really not a bad couch set like if we did not get this new one i would have kept them like i love i picked out this set i do love them and so i listed them on marketplace and i've gotten tons of inquiries and the post and the post itself has gotten a lot of views and a lot of clicks now i put the dimensions and everything on there like any information about any imperfections about the couches like they're not obviously from the store perfect like they have just natural wear and tear from years of people sitting on them and using them uh but they're not like there's no big stains or anything and i think the only rip is underneath one of the couches so like only if you lift the entire thing up the lining underneath the couch i think is ripped in one area and, and like this big so but all of that is told right so i've answered thousands of questions about <laughs> i have answered thousands of questions about these couches on facebook marketplace where i posted them which was probably my first mistake i need to go on like offer up or something you know i was getting a lot of the are is it available is it available is it available which i feel like anybody that tries to sell anything anywhere uh online is gonna get a lot of that so i got a lot of that uh but then the people who took it you know a step further and had further questions some of them were reasonable questions to ask oh by the way my coat broke but i love this coat so much that i don't want to like i want to try to figure out a way if i can fix this zipper anywho <laughs> some people would be reasonable with their questions but some people were just like so bizarre so pictures were posted of the couches you know um i had actually maybe like four pictures of two different items so two pictures of each uh, the color, the dimensions, the imperfections were all listed. And I was still getting questions like, what color is it? Okay, at that point, I didn't uh, I didn't even answer their message. If you're asking me, uh-uh. So I had a couple people like get pretty close to finally buying the couches. But I'd have people be like, yeah, let's set something up. But I only also have so much availability. I only have so much time with somebody else here who can help me move these damn couches out of my house. I don't want strangers uh, coming into my house when I'm alone. So I schedule around Josh's availability, which isn't that often or maybe not the most convenient is nothing outlandish but we have to work around a schedule so it, it pretty much gets to the point of where like we're ready to make like a yeah let's meet up and then i'm like okay this is when i'm available next and all next week and then i like don't hear back so, okay so in thursday afternoon she's asking me now when's the earliest i can pick up the couches and i'm like the earliest earliest would be tomorrow morning um 9 a.m if that works for you because I told her I have to get my kids both kids don't both kids are not in school until 8 30 and then I still have to come home so it wouldn't be about until like 9 a.m. that I could actually meet somebody and make um, an exchange this is in the text message I get my child to daycare for 8 30 so I'd be back for 9 I told her this I told her this so that works she can do tomorrow she can do 9 a.m tomorrow that's awesome she's aware that i'm not gonna be home until nine but as long as like but like as long as 
you're gonna be there like I'll, I'll i'll be right back you know i'll come right back and we can do our thing because so many people pull out last minute i basically ask her okay like that sounds good but can you please message me in the morning and i'll give you my address then because i just i don't like just giving out my address for obvious reasons i'll give out my address then and like at least that way i'll know like you're up and like it's still on your pick the pickup is still on your mind it's it's an early morning pickup i'm not gonna read it word for word if i have to get receipts back i will but i'm just paraphrasing here uh but she basically tells me that like no uh, give me your address now. <laughs> she didn't say it that way, but now looking back, I kind of feel that way. Um, she was like, no, like, I'll take your address now and I'll give it to my grandparents and they'll definitely be there in the morning. I'm like, okay, so at this point, we've confirmed plans, right? However, whenever I have ever picked up something from Marketplace or like bought or sold from anybody, I always confirm or always make the sure the day of like if I'm on my way to your house I at least send you a message like even if I don't have your phone number which I typically just use messenger I'll just send you a message because I don't want to show up and then like even you blow me off you know that's just weird so I would send the person a message in the morning and just say hey you know are we still down to make an exchange are we still available for this sale if i don't hear from the person you best be damned that i am not going to their house okay so i only so supposedly her grandparents were coming to pick it up which again i just thought was weird but i'm like come, come get these damn couches out of my house so i didn't have like the grandparents contact information i only had her information so after she was like no like i'll take the address now i'll give it to my great her grandparents i'm like Okay, what did I say? All right, so I'm trying to get used to filming with the GoPro, obviously, and I must have switched it to a time-lapse mode because the last part of my story is all this. It's just sped up me doing my makeup and finishing it up. Oh my goodness. So long story short, so the morning comes around and I end up shooting the girl a message through Messenger just around like 7 30 7 45 i know it was early in the morning she was probably sleeping i knew this but the pickup was supposed to be for nine so i figured at the very least she would probably be awake and confirming with her grandparents that they were still going to pick up or at least some communication was being taken place on their end this morning so I didn't think sending a message that early was too outlandish. At the same time, I was trying to get my kids ready for school. So I kind of put my phone down and just went about my morning. I didn't hear anything when I checked my phone again around 8 o'clock when I was about to head out the door. They are going to be here in an hour to pick up the couches and I still haven't heard anything. So I'm getting really nervous at this point that I'm just going to end up getting blown off. So I'm sort of left with two choices right now. I can either, once my kids get to where they have to go, I can either come straight home and just see if maybe they just showed up, which again, I just think is incredibly rude to do to somebody. I had an order because I was working this day. I was, I was on the schedule, so orders were starting to pop up. And Target, where I shop for, is right up the road from where I was going to be. I'm like, I can either go home and risk going the opposite direction of where I have to go just to see if these people are going to show up. And then I'm honestly going to be even more upset if I now wasted more time and gas and came all the way back home when I should have just gone straight to work or just drop my kids off and start these orders go straight to work these people have not confirmed i sent one more text message i believe around 8 30. i haven't heard anything from you uh i need to get right to work hello <laughs> uh and i still hadn't heard anything now josh was home this entire time because i even told him when i left i said listen i'm supposed to have people supposedly showing up for couches i don't know if they're still coming they never confirmed with me, but would you just keep an eye out? Like just poke your head out the window maybe every 10 minutes and just see if somebody's in the driveway. So when I leave a little after eight, 
Josh is outside tending to the yard. Okay, so he's already outside. That, and I asked him, did anybody shows up, showed up? And he says, no. He said, I never saw a car in the driveway. And I checked. When I came out to collect my DoorDash I had delivered from Dunkin' Donuts that morning, there's a note. I really wish this part didn't speed up because I actually had the note and the receipt. If I can find it real quick, I'll try to take a screenshot or something. But they just left a note telling us that they were here from like, I think it said 8.35 to 9.25. It was close to 45 minutes that they claimed that they sat in my driveway. No callback number, no contact information. Like they just wanted to complain. I am so frustrated. I just went downstairs and those couches are in my freaking kitchen right now. I have no one here to help me move them. I have to wrap them up. And I have to, how am I supposed, I literally want to cry. I don't know how to cook in my kitchen. I have two giant couches in that tiny kitchen I have. I can't move. I have to climb on everything. I don't know how to even cook dinner tonight. I am so frustrated. I order out. Okay, anybody got like 50 bucks for delivery and feed three of us? No, good. That's why I had food to make. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Okay, one problem at a time. I'm gonna, um, my hair is a mess. I slept on it last night. I'm pretty sure I got it wet right before I slept on it. Oh my god. My hair is naturally curly. It just gets crazy if I, um, don't style it right after a shower. So I'm gonna be using a wig today. I need to at least get, like, the front pieces, um, kind of straight and not so wild so i'll tie the rest of it back i am so frustrated i don't even want to go down the stairs right now i want to pretend like it's not there i am so frustrated and the fact that they were here this could have been done today i could have never had to worry about these couches for the rest of my life after today but you decide not to confirm and you decide to just i'm gonna need another elastic but Oh, I'm going to just tie my hair back in a low ponytail. I'm not going to use like a, a cap or anything. I'm not going to need it for today's wig. Oh, you have no idea how frustrated I am. I'm going to pull out the face framing pieces like around my ears. Just basically all this like overgrown baby hair area. I'm not going to make it all pin straight or anything because the wig itself is not straight, but I just... <laughs> I want to make these pieces at least going in the same general direction. Just a very quick run over of these front pieces. This is a wig I'm going to be using today. I believe it's one that I got from Shein. The only thing about it is that it has a little bit of like a reddish color on top for like some random reason. I don't know. Um, it is a lace front, but the lace has been cut. We're going to place it and just style it however we can. It's really just for the videos today for filming. I'm not actually going out anywhere, so I'm not, I don't really care about what it looks like when it's down because I'm about to braid it anyway, but I just want this front hairline to kind of get covered. You know what? You know what? You know what? I can't. <laughs> I'm going to have to install it properly. However, I'm starting to run out of time because I'm not filming until the kids go to sleep tonight. So at least like the big part, the makeup is done. That was my main concern. So I've still got to get my butt to the store because I got to go get a couple things before I go get the kids. And I got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do about dinner. Let me go show you those couches and why I'm like so upset that this lady had me pulling out these couches and cleaning them up and ready to go. And then you don't reach out the day of, and then you show up 20 minutes early when you weren't there. Let me clean up my mess and start show you what I'm dealing with tonight. <clears throat> I just got home. I'm very uh, limited on space here because I can't move because couches are still in my freaking kitchen. I'm going to have to wrap them up tonight or something. I got to get them out of the house tomorrow. We ended up just going to grab something to eat because I'm like, I, I don't have room to do anything. Uh, I guess I'll take a seat. <laughs> so, oh my god. Oh, I almost lost that gravy. We ended up picking up something to eat. I know most people are like in the same boat right now, but tell me why. I just like stepped out of my house and $100 just like went out the door. Two meals was almost 40 bucks. That's why I was like, I don't want to go out to eat. 
and I'm, I'm kind of stuck having, and it was like Target. Are you joking? Like, okay, this is why I got a Target. Okay, I just got toilet paper. I need toilet paper. These were so expensive. They were the testing full strips. It was like $16. That was the most expensive thing I got. Um, some lash glue. I needed some really bad. I was basically out. Uh, frosting from my last vlog. I was going to make cake pops. And I'm not going to do it tonight. I'll probably do it this weekend. Cat food. I mean, I ended up spending like $60 at Target. And then another $40 for food. I don't, I don't know how we're supposed to do this. <laughs> I can't even find a job. Um, and some shampoo, which opened up and is all messy. That's it. <laughs> that's all I got from Target. Um, yeah, so that's why I try to avoid going out to eat because I know it's astronomical, but I was just kind of in a weird pickle tonight. So... I'm going to have, um, it's funny because I used to get this chicken pie all the time with like ma mashed and mac and cheese and it used to be such a, uh, it used to be like such a comfort food and I haven't had it in so long and I'm just like, eh, I don't know, it's just not hitting the way that it used to, I don't know if it's changed or what, I mean it's still good but It's definitely not the same, but so I'm not even really enjoying my sixteen dollar sixteen dollar meal. Today's one of those days I just really want to be over. I just got the I just got the kids to sleep, so I'm going to film a little bit. So I think I have like <clears throat> I think there's maybe three TikToks or so that I'm gonna film but I mentioned in my last vlog that I kind of wanted to try to make like the Laura Croft cosplay like my niche on TikTok and see how that goes. Shirt, the necklace I usually wear if I am dressing up as her. It's just this double layered like Shein necklace. Uh, her glasses which I usually just leave laying on the bridge of my nose and then just these work gloves <laughs> that kind of uh look like her gloves from like the top up or whatever and that's all i do if i'm gonna show like from the waist down or anything i'd put on my camo shorts but i don't have to do all that and my utility belt so i have the tiktok pulled up that i'm gonna it's like the I don't want another baby, but the demon in me wants another baby. <laughs> Obviously, Laura does not have a full face of glam on, but today she does. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of that. I wish I had the lipstick I was wearing earlier. I don't have it up here, so I am just going to wear... Okay, because I just, I want to keep the lips relatively natural. I wouldn't wear this combo out because it wouldn't last more than five minutes. First half of the video is filmed. <laughs> I'm hoping it came out okay. Uh, I just changed into the Laura shirt. The necklace is just an adjustable oh, necklace, so we'll put it on. Just tighten it up just like so. I still have to fight with my hair, so let me get that in Laura Croft's uh, braid. I'm not gonna go through the process of like pinning it down like crazy or anything. Obviously, you can see the hairline right there, so I'm gonna fix that, but that's as far as I'm pretty much willing to put this wig on. Um, again, it's just for like not even an hour. These poor gloves have hold, so many holes in them now, so that's why I just use them for the cosplay. And my glasses. Okay, we're officially Laura uh, in our Laura cosplay, at least halfway. But enough to finish these TikToks, so let's do it. I don't want to eat candy, but the parasites. <laughs> that was probably the creepiest <laughs> one. Okay. <laughs> 